In the beginning, ATI's fixed function hardware and Microsoft's DirectX 7 gave us our first glimpse at what was possible for 3D gaming. A short time later, with the introduction of programmable shaders in the ATI Radeon 8500 GPU, the wonders of Microsoft DirectX 8 were unlocked. It was not long until the world saw the light, natural light, as advancements in ATI's pixel and vertex shader technologies, combined with Microsoft Direct X9, illuminated gamers' worlds in ways never seen before. 3D games became more like movies. High polygon characters and environments, soft shadows and post-processing effects, like high dynamic range lighting and motion blur, became the norm thanks to advancements in ATI hardware and Microsoft DirectX. Environments of unparalleled visual fidelity were made possible. Models of ancient runes created with 15 million polygons of precision. Imaginary worlds brought to life so realistically you'd think you were standing on the street in Boston. ATI's implementation of Shader Model 3.0 gave developers ways to express themselves like never before. Creative freedom unleashed. AMD's implementation of Microsoft Direct X10 and Tessellation brought definition to 3D worlds. AMD's second generation unified shader technology brought incredible real-time scenes to life with breathtaking characters and effects. Things only got better with Microsoft Direct X 10.1 as AMD graphics enabled improved visual quality and performance in games. Last year, AMD shocked the world with true cinematic realism in real time on the first ever Teraflops graphics chip. So ask yourself, are you ready for what's next from AMD?